I'm here at Louisville Mega Cavern and I'm about to do an e-bike tour to see how this whole entire thing actually works. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but we'll see. It's pretty fun. I get to ride a bike around and find out how everything works here. It'll be fun, I think. And I'm in the main lobby now. It's down underground and uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Getting ready to go on a bike ride. Don't know if I'll actually get any video during the ride though, but here's the bike. has a 17 on it. So what that is, is it's just kind of telling you how old these fillers are. So they're not like 15 or 17 years old or anything like that. They're obviously a lot older. Um, but these are one of the first couple of fillers that they got to. So 15 is the oldest and 17 is the youngest. So But this is our zip lining area. So where we're standing at is still about 30 feet full to ceiling. Um, out here where it's just pretty much mud, not really a lot of rocks, that's about 70 feet full to ceiling. And then we're go hide behind one of those canyons that you guys actually cross over. And they would Wiley Coyote blow the limestone out. So it's definitely pretty cool. These were actually left behind either because they Alright, so I just finished my e-bike tour, which was freaking cool. I got to learn a bunch of history about what happened under this in this cavern because it's not a cave, it's man-made. Basically, they did a lot of mining. It was at one time almost a fallout shelter for some history stuff. So with it being, you know, a history thing, and I love history, so that's freaking awesome. Uh, I got to ride an e-bike throughout the cave and see the like behind the scenes stuff that nobody else gets to see, which was awesome. And now I'm about ready to leave. I've 
got a few little souvenir goodies that I may or may not put in my, this video. I don't know. But uh, it's pretty cool. So if you get a chance to check out the Louisville Mega Caverns, you might as well do it. It's not ridiculously expensive. I had a gift card, but it's like 35 for the e-bike tour or something, which is not bad. You should check it out. And uh, yeah. I'm actually just outside the building, so it's pretty cool that I got to do this, and I say way, cool way too much. I gotta find a new word, but for now, I'm walking back to my car, and I'm just gonna show you all the outside of the building once you get here. And look, they have these little footprints. They're like, follow the footsteps. Follow the footprints, because apparently, when you first get here, you have nowhere, you have no idea where to go. Which is really cool. I'm going to go show this little bit here. You can see where it's wet. And it's like... That's pretty cool. And then you're like surrounded completely by rock. And it's back in this area. And it's like... Everything says... Restricted area. Restricted area. Super secure. Secret area. Like everywhere you walk inside. And driving out here is kind of interesting. But I ended up parking down here. There's like buildings everywhere. It's really cool. I got to go like it's. It, they said inside it's not classified as a cave. It's a cavern, which I guess maybe a cavern is like human made, and a cave is like natural. And I say like way too much, but a cave is natural, whereas a cavern is not. Caverns are man-made, but just look, man, it's cool. So, thank you all for coming with me on this picture and video trip. Maybe I'll do some more stuff in the future if anybody actually cares. <laughs>